Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the differences between these two tips. They look a lot alike. They are both curved, but one is a cutting torch tip and one is a scarfing torch tip. There's a lot of people that did not know that there was a difference, didn't even know they made curved cutting tips. And from the little research that I'd done before this video, there are tons of different torch tips. It's easy to get confused. There's not a whole lot of clear information out there. So in this video, to be as clear as possible, and what I try to do in all my videos is talk simply from my experience, because that's the, that's the most uh, confident I can be in what I'm sharing is just from my experience. So these are two brand new tips that later in the video I'm actually going to cut into. I'm going to attempt to cut into because I want to see personally what the difference is. You can tell one difference between a, a scarfing tip and a cutting tip, which is this here is your cutting tip. The, the center hole there on a uh, scarfing tip is bigger. Right here, this is the scarfing tip. This is the cutting tip. And I'll try to get some better footage if I'm not getting good enough footage here. But the scarfing tip is bigger and then about, oh, I don't know, quarter inch back, it gets smaller. That's one of the main differences that you can tell just by looking at it. So this one on the right is the scarfing tip. You can tell because that hole gets smaller down in there versus a regular cutting tip. It does not, it's the same size all the way through as far as we can see. Other than that difference, I want to know past that if there's any difference inside these uh, torch tips. So later in the video, I'm going to attempt to take a hacksaw and cut these this way to see if there's anything we can learn about these torch tips. But before I do that, I want to cut with a cutting tip with a barrel torch. This is a barrel torch, this is a beveling machine. And what I want to do is cut with a cutting tip and also share why you would want a curved tip over a straight tip. Because a lot of you uh, that have not been around pipe work may not know why. And so <clears throat> I want to share why you would choose a curved tip versus a straight tip. And then I also want to try to cut with a scarfing tip. That way, in case you happen to end up with the wrong tip, if you needed a curved tip, but you got a scarfing tip, you'll know uh, why just by starting to cut with it. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut with, uh, actually, let's go ahead and explain why you want a curved tip. So like I said, this here is a beveling machine, and with a curved tip, it's way faster to what we call on the pipeline or in the pipe fitting world is back bevel. So like right now the torch tip is curved this way so we're going to put a bevel on this way but whenever you're cutting pups for a job or even just to practice you need a bevel on both sides so it's very much quicker to spin it like that just by loosening this one bolt so the answer to simplify it is it's quicker it's faster to spin your torch around versus if you had a straight tip in here you would have to uh so pretending we have a straight tip in there you would have to loosen this bolt and this bolt and cut or put it on an angle <clears throat> and then, like i said hypothetically this is straight I'll tell you what we could do is put this long barrel in here just different size of uh torches you would not normally use a long barrel in a four inch beveling machine this is a two to four matthew dearman beveling machine but see straight straight torch or straight torch tip bevel go all the way around but then to spin it around and back bevel it you got to loosen this guy and some Usually you can, uh, yeah, you gotta loosen this off far enough to where you can spin this back deal. Used to, you had to modify this. So this is your backing plate and used to, you'd have to round off these corners to where you wouldn't have to pull it all the way off like we just did. You could just loosen it off a little bit 
and then it would just spin on its own so you could spin it this way and then pull it out but all that to say is if you don't modify it by rounding these corners you'd have to pull this all the way off turn this around and then put your backing your nut back on the back there so it's just more time consuming as you just seen there to back bevel something so there it is got it back on adjust it put it where you want it make your cut so that is the reason in a curved cutting tip that I again from my experience there might be other reasons I don't know uh, is in a barrel torch on a beveling machine also I wanted to add right here that there are times where it makes more sense to use the straight tip put on an angle because with that short barrel if you're in like a tight area sometimes that angle shortens the whole torch so you can get around you know if you're low to the ground or something so there's a time and a place where each is good but if you're doing a lot of fabrication in jack stands and uh you just want to back bevel things quick that's where that um curve tip comes in comes in handy but i just wanted to throw that in there that there's a time and a place for different situations i have personally never been in a situation as i'm saying that i can think of a situation where i could have used a well no i, I still don't i was thinking of a uh i was thinking of something else i was thinking of this 180 degree torch right here with a straight tip is what i was thinking of but as far as a as far as a curved cutting tip, I, I can't think of any reason why I would need a curved cutting tip in a regular torch. I can't think of any reason. This here is a scarfing tip. I keep a scarfing tip <clears throat> on this torch here. This, this stays set up like this all the time. And for those of you that don't know what a scarfing tip is, a scarfing tip is to cut out a weld. A scarfing tip is kind of like art gouging for those of you that do know what arc gouging is it's the whole point in an arc gouge and a scarfing tip is to cut away a weld by minimizing the the amount of cutting that you do into your into your material your, your base material that way you don't for one mess up the integrity of the material but also you don't have to it just takes more time it's a lot cleaner to have a scarfing tip or an arc gouger to get rid of a weld so uh, that's what a scarfing tip is it's to cut out a weld without getting into your base material. All right, so now let's get this set back up on uh, uh, 180. And then let's go ahead and put in a brand new cutting torch tip. Brand new cutting torch tip because I bought two new ones just for this video and yes I'm going to cut into the brand new ones one of the reason I bought a brand new one is because I didn't own a big uh, these are big torch tips for a barrel torch and or a big torch versus the torches that I use my hand torches are smaller so they're different sizes of tips um, is why I bought I had to buy a a bigger scarfing tip because I've never owned a big scarfing tip but I also wanted it to be bigger that way we could hopefully see more whenever we go to cut into it so one reason is because I didn't own one and the other reason is because is so whenever we go to cut into it we could see it better ideally I tried to get a decent size too I got a size 2 torch tip here let's go ahead and get this set up make a cut so we can all see what a um ideal you know normal cut looks like a normal bevel if i can uh, do a decent cut I'm not in the groove so i don't know if i'll be able to do a decent one but we'll give it a whirl for sure all right curved cutting tip number two on some three inch schedule 40 pipe here we go
Cutting nice like it's supposed to. Close up. Nice angled cut. Like it's supposed to, besides that bottom where this bevel machine got hung up. Regular curved cutting tip. Now let's see what happens with a scarfing tip. This is something I have I have not done. I was fortunate enough to run into some good mentors whenever I was working on drilling rigs. That's how I got introduced to a scarfing tip. So I learned what a scarfing tip was before I ever pipelined. Therefore, before I ever used a bevel machine. So I never, I was never confused about uh, scarfing versus cutting tip. So now let's put in a scarfing tip and see what happens. You and I both are going to learn on this one because, like I said, I've never tried to make a straight cut with a scarfing tip. From what I've heard, it just doesn't do right at all because it's not designed to do a straight cut. Hmm. Well, that's odd. You're odd from what I was expecting because it actually cut it. Didn't do bad at all. I was not expecting that. One difference that I did notice that I forgot to mention when I was filming was the kerf was bigger with the scarfing tip. For those of you that don't know, kerf just means uh, the amount of metal that the torch takes out whenever it's cutting. So like your, your gap whenever you start cutting, you'll notice whenever you're using a like a smaller torch tip, the kerf is usually way less but with this uh scarfing tip the kerf was like i don't know at least three sixteenths if not a quarter it took out a lot of metal so that is one difference that i that i wanted to mention because that's how you can tell whether you're cutting with a scarfing tip or a uh cutting tip or chances are you could also be cutting with too big of a torch tip and obviously like we just learned it works but it's not ideal a lot of times you got to go faster to make a decent cut um, so anyway, bigger kerf with the scarfing tip. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut in to these this way and we'll see what these are, how they're different inside. So like I said earlier, this is the scarfing tip because the hole gets smaller whenever we come back a quarter inch or so. And this is the cutting tip. The a uh, hole is the same all the way through as far as we know, but we're fixing to find out. So the first one we're going to cut is the uh, cutting tip. Let's see what's inside this cutting tip. I hope this goes well because I sincerely want this to be a helpful video. Well, 
little toasty, which I'm not surprised. there ladies and gentlemen almost there I feel like we're so close oh yeah that's it look at there boys boys and girls holy cannoli Holy poly. Wow. How incredible. So from what I can see here, most of the, since I didn't get quite an even cut, most of the channel in that middle, in that center hole is right here. And it looks like it gets a little bigger there it looks like it, it looks like it slowly tapers till the very end but it looks like it gets bigger back here and then there's a smaller hole on the outside holes wow okay let's go ahead and cut into the scarfing tip now try to make this cut a little straighter wore out again I'm wore out again I'm gonna need a tall glass of coffee after this tall cup I mean glass Whole cup of coffee. Get re energized. Okay, we're getting closer. Good and warm. Good and toasty. All in the name of education. There it is. Alright. I think what we've learned, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's just that very front. See that about quarter inch back I was talking about? And then it gets, actually looks more narrow here than on this other one. Yeah, see? Scarfing tip is more narrow up here than right here in this cutting tip there you have it scarfing tip cutting tip not much difference but enough i reckon hope you enjoyed the video thanks for being here this week i hope you have an awesome day and remember learn something every day